In this video from the studiofiles.com, I'm going to talk about all the different editing tools that are available in Pro Tools LE. All your editing tools are up here in the window, and you can select them either by clicking on them or hitting the hotkey, which I'll try to tell you all of them. Let's start with the zoom tool, which is F5. Now, if you click and hold on the zoom tool, you'll notice there's two different modes. There's normal zoom and single zoom. Let's start with normal zoom. With normal zoom, you just click and drag on the region you want to zoom in on, and the window will automatically resize for you. And in normal zoom, notice that my tool stays on the zoom no matter how many zooms I do. With single zoom, when I make a zoom, watch my tool automatically revert to whatever tool I had selected before. And I think in this case I had the selector tool selected. See? Automatically went back. Personally, I find myself using single zoom a lot more than normal zoom. Let's zoom out a little bit actually with the R key. All right, let's talk about the next tool. This is the trim tool, or some people call it the edge edit tool. There's three modes. There's standard, TCE, and loop. Let's start with standard. Standard is just like any edge editing tool. When you drag an edge, it edits the edge. You can, it's always there. You can go backwards and forwards. Very useful tool. You'll use it all the time. Let's talk about TCE. It stands for time, compression, and expansion. Rather than just moving the edge, with this tool, when you move it in, it actually compresses the amount of time. It shortens it or lengthens it. See how Pro Tools had to do a little processing there? That's because it was actually making it longer and or shorter. Be careful using this too much because you can introduce some weird artifacts, but for little fixes, it's great. Finally, there's the loop tool. And if you're a Logic user, you'll feel right at home. In Logic, the loop tool will appear automatically if you put your mouse in the upper right-hand corner of the region. In Pro Tools, it's the same way. Just click and drag and you'll notice that this kick is going to be looped. Very easy. All right, let's talk about the selector tool. This is probably one of the most common tools. It looks like a cursor of a word processor, and you use it for selecting things, which you can then delete. You can also select things like we talked about in the keyboard focus and make fades. You can select across multiple tracks and delete and make edits, things like that. And it's also the tool you use to separate by clicking in an audio region and clicking the B key. Very useful tool. All right, let's move on to the grabber tool. There's a couple different modes. There's time, separation, and object. Time is the one you're going to use the most. That selects regions based on time. So, you know, click a region, it selects it in the timeline, and you can delete that. You can move it. You can copy it with holding down the option key. Or, if you double-click, you can rename it. Great tool. Now let's go to the separation tool. You won't use this one quite as much, but I'll talk about it. It's actually a tool that you need to use another tool with. You have to use the selector tool first. Select a region that you want to separate. And if you go to the separator grabber and move this region, it'll automatically separate it. Now, personally, I prefer just to hit B to separate it and then go to the normal grabber, but in certain situations, it may be very useful. The final grabber tool is the object grabber. This is actually a cool one. If you need to copy and paste or move things that are on different tracks and you don't want to grab everything in the middle when you, hit, when you hold Shift to select them, this is a tool for you. Watch this. Notice when you click things, they're outlined in black. I'm going to hold Shift and click a couple different regions here. And now I'm going to hold Option, and I'm going to move these. That creates a copy. Notice how it just got the audio that I selected. Now let's undo. Let's go to the normal grabber and see what happens when we do that. Notice how it highlights it. And then when you go to copy it, it takes everything. We don't want that. So the, uh, the object grabber is actually a really useful tool. All right, let's talk about the scrubber. This is just like any scrubber tool would. You click and then rotate your mouse to the right or to the left, and you can scrub the audio forward or backwards. Great for listening for little details and hearing stuff in slow motion, that sort of thing. All right, now we're on the final tool, which is the pencil tool. And if you click on that, there's lots of options. Freehand, line, square, S-curve. Let's pick a triangle. Now, this is normally for writing automation, so we need to get something that's automatable. So let's go to uh, over here and choose volume. Now, if I draw in with a pencil, 
notice that it's going to make the triangles for me. And if you choose a different tool, let's say the uh, line tool, it'll draw in a straight line of automation for you. Very cool. So now you know about the six different tools in Pro Tools LE, and perhaps our next video will be on the different edit modes in Pro Tools.